Yes, you guessed it right. It's my morning routine. And I claim my morning routine to be a very healthy, very productive and very focused. So come on, join in with my morning routine. Let me walk you through my morning routine. So the first thing what I do in the morning is I open the curtains and I join my hands to the Lord of Sun, asking him to give me the power, the strength, the energy to do all the chores for the day wholeheartedly with great enthusiasm. Um, you know, like me as a mother, me as a wife, me as a person individually to all the things that I'm set to do, to all the things I need to do, to all the things that I want to do. And I should do it with great enthusiasm, with great strength, with great energy and stay focused. And that's how when I'm focused to do anything, I give my heart and soul to it. And I tend to do it uh, with liveliness, with happiness and and it just tends to become very fruitful is what I believe. I truly and I honestly pray to the Lord of Sun each and every day. And this is how I begin my day. And once I'm done that, I do my bed. <laughs> I mean, it sounds weird. I honestly think it sounds weird. But straight away, the first thing in the morning when I do it, when I'm doing other chores, when I look back at the bed, I feel it's neat and tidy. I feel the day has started. I don't feel lazy anymore. I don't feel the need to go back to sleep anymore. I don't feel... Uh, to take an afternoon nap or anything. I don't feel like getting cuddled up into the blanket or anything. I feel very, uh, I feel very focused uh, in doing my daily chores. I feel the day has begun. And now I'm going to quickly go get changed into something more presentable. Well, <laughs> to be honest, I never ever come out of my pyjamas. I'm day and night. I love to be in my pyjamas. I find it very comfortable, very relaxing. To all those who know me, to all those who visit me, and if any of you come home knocking at my doors any time of the day, then you'll find me in my pyjamas. I'm, I'm very happy to be in my pyjamas and I don't mind about it. Um, but because it's a video shoot, so I'm going to wear something more presentable. So let me go and get changed quickly. What I to do is drink a nice warm cup of water with a few drops of lime and a teaspoon of honey. It just makes me feel cleansed and feel so refreshed. And I've also read it somewhere that the combination of lime, honey and warm water is a great combination to lose weight. I cook breakfast. Most of the days I do cook breakfast. It could be anything from upma, pongal, kichdi, chapati, anything. And my husband Santosh is a great help in the kitchen in the mornings. Um, we do it together. I mean, it's not something that we have um, shared our jobs or anything. Um, but uh, over the time, uh, it's just that we have um, kind of uh, builded our own routine uh, wherein Santosh is the one who keeps all the dishes from the dishwasher back into the cabinets and I'm the one who does the breakfast. He does help me in making the breakfast as well when it comes to making chapatis. Um, we dedicate one hour of our time in getting all the things done. It could be getting all the dishwasher stuff back into the cabinets in the morning and then getting the breakfast done and also packing lunches for my kids. I also make sure to um, fold the clothes or do the washing up, get the washing up and get that sorted as well. And these clothes are waiting for me, waiting for me, waiting for me. And these clothes are waiting for me, waiting for me, waiting for me. So everything gets done in that one hour time. And after that, once I'm done with my kitchen tray, um, I've packed the lunches. I've also put the uh, washing up into the washing machine. And now I'm outside. I take the time for 10 minutes and then I start walking. Um, just in my back garden I make the most of the 10 minutes feeling refreshed getting fresh air and that's how I get started with my exercises um, the kids are yet to come downstairs to have the breakfast and in this 10 minutes I'm just going to quickly walk and finish my walking for the day um, normally in the, previously um, I used to go out for a big long walk in the woods um, but now I want to utilize the time in a very productive way when there's when the daylight is so short because it's winter so um, I go for an evening walk than a morning walk 
Uh, so 10 minutes of walk in the back garden is what I do these days and then later I go out in the evening for my evening walk. Look how cold it is. Ooh, it's minus two going on now. The plants, the shrubs have all been frosted. But once I start walking, I don't feel cold anymore because your body is so warmed up and I've just come out of the kitchen. Now that I've done with my walking, look how cold it is. I'm going to go inside and do my Surya Namaskara. I roll my yoga mat. I do my Surya Namaskara. Uh, when I do my Surya Namaskara, I make sure uh, to place my mat in, in an order where I can stand and worship the Lord of Sun. I mean, um, my, when I join my hands and I'm facing the Lord of Sun to the east side and every time I bow, I make it a point to breathe in and breathe out every posture. I do Surya Namaskara. I do 12 counts every day, which takes less than 10 minutes of your time. And I must say this is something that I, I feel so good. My body gets heated up so well despite uh, the extreme weather conditions here despite it being a freezing temperature in the morning the heating is not on but I find it so warm um, I'm not jogging I'm not running I'm just standing in a place and just stretching my arms and stretching my legs when I'm doing Surya Namaskara but this exercise helps me to relieve all kinds of aches and pains in my muscles, um, in my joints, that I feel the need to do Surya Namaskara every day in the morning. Believe me, this has become more than a habit and a routine. It's a must for my body is what I feel. And uh, when I do Surya Namaskara, uh, it just takes 10 minutes of my time and I still feel so good. Uh, despite the gyms being closed, I don't feel the need to go to the gym when I do Surya Namaskara. I concentrate mainly on the breathing exercise. Very simple uh, breathing exercises which helps me to keep my respiratory glands clean, my throat clean, uh, especially during this winter and also during summer. It's also, it's very important to just go out, get some fresh air and the morning is such a uh, nice, crisp, fresh air that I feel the need to take it into my body and um, I've set 15 minutes of my time to do my Surya Namaskara and the other exercises as well that I have uh, built up over the time. And when I sit down to enjoy my breakfast, I make it a point um, to watch videos of my choice. Um, I just sit down here. This is my breakfast table and this is my place. I enjoy my breakfast, watching videos which would help me to keep my day productive. It could be inspirational talks. It could be motivational talks. It could be productive. It could be um, educative uh, in terms of teaching me on how to make more productive videos, um, on how to set the camera angles, or it could be TED Talks. It could be anything which keeps me very productive for the day how I like to chalk out my day eating my breakfast and I also ensure not to get too much carried away while watching the videos. Around 10 to 15 minutes of my time to eat my breakfast and that's the only time I watch the videos in the morning and however interesting the video is I make sure to pause it if my breakfast is done um, and watch it the next day um, rather than just sitting down and watching the videos one after the other. Uh, that's how I keep my breakfast time more productive. The inspirational talks or motivational talks, any kind of educational talks or anything that I like to hear all to myself. This is the time I eat my breakfast and listen to them.
now that my breakfast is all done and I'm ready to get started with my work, I'm coming to work, I make it a point to utilize the daylight to the maximum, especially when I'm shooting videos for my YouTube or uh, Instagram reel or Instagram post. This is the time I make sure to dedicate this purely to shooting videos. Before I get started to my work, I make sure to get all my favorite fruits from the refrigerator. Um, I prefer eating my fruits at room temperature. I can't eat them when they're cold. So I get all my favorite fruits from the refrigerator and I get them on the kitchen countertop so that I can just pick any of them as and when I'm passing and wandering in the kitchen. Whenever I'm hungry, I just pick one fruit and eat them. There's an interesting juice recipe that I would like to share today, which is filled with goodness. And I make sure to make this drink ready before I start my work. Quickly show you on how I do this drink for myself, uh, which is super tasty, lovely sour in taste. I mean, I just enjoy uh, making my drinks, which is sour, tangy and also very healthy. Uh, first time when I tried making this drink, I tried using just one green apple. It tasted absolutely fantastic. Uh, but the only reason why I'm adding two green apples today is that um, I'm a person who loves uh, drinks which are sour, which are more tangy. Um, that's how I enjoy my drink, but it's entirely optional. Um, if you are somebody who likes more sweets, then you can, uh, then yes, you can go ahead and add in honey into this drink, but I'm not going to add in any honey, but I'm going to keep this very simple, very tangy and very tasty, yet very healthy too. Um, and also, if you want to add in grapes to this drink, then yes, go ahead and add in green grapes. I'm sure this will taste very good. Um, but because it's winter, um, I don't eat grapes during this season. But if it was summer, then yes, I would definitely add grapes as well. Um, so now to make this drink, I'm going to chop these green apples. Now I have these apples which I have thoroughly washed and I'm just going to roughly chop these green apples. I'm not going to take the skin off the apples. I love retaining the skin um, given fruits or vegetables. Um, they're filled with goodness, they're filled with vitamins. So I don't like to get rid of the skins. I like to, if you feel the need, then yes, you can just take the layer of the skin from before blending it. Right now I have all my green apples roughly chopped into cubes. I'm going to get all of them into the blender. Now, now that the apples are into the blender, I'm going to add in just half a scoop of Green's Superfood Blend straight away into my blender. Filled in the water, say around 40% of the inside of the teamy tumbler. If you feel the need of adding more water, then you can add in more water later point as well. Um, now in goes water. I'm going to blend this now into a juice. My juice is all ready. Then the best thing about having the teeny tumblers are um, you don't need to sieve it because it already has this lovely net which goes straight into the tumbler that you don't need to sieve it. Um, I mean, I just find those little things as well so helpful and time-saving element uh, that I can just straight away get my juice in, into my teeny tumblers. Now this is the outside of the teamy tumbler. This is the inside of the teamy tumbler. I'm just going to keep this inside and get my juice, my apple drink straight into the teamy tumbler. Now you can see it's still a little bit pulpy and I'm just going to add this net um, on the teamy tumbler. So when I'm drinking, I will not get the bits um, and I don't have to sieve it. It just saves up so much of time and effort and I can get started with my work straight away. I'm going to turn this and I've locked it for now. I'm going to keep drinking it when I'm working. And also, I just wanted to mention one thing, which I make the most of these uh, tumblers. I mean, it's so beautifully designed that I make sure to use this cute little secret compartment, which is right underneath fixed on the TV tumblers. I mean, how cute and how portable and how easy and how accessible is this little portion. Um, 
you all know how much I love eating nuts and the best thing about it is I gather all my nuts into this little compartment here and so that I don't, don't keep wandering around in the kitchen when I am finished with my kitchen chores once I'm ready with this I want to dedicate my time sitting down in one place rather than just moving around and now that I have my drink and I'll have my nuts here it'll keep me you know when I'm hungry I know I can just pick one and eat when I want so this little compartment I'm going to fill in nuts in here and keep it secretly just to myself when I'm working and walnuts so in goes one two three four five and my teeny tumbler is not just filled with goodness on the top but also at the bottom too this is how I get ready uh, before I get started working and once I'm done with this I get into my working schedule and I have to sit there I can't keep wandering around I have my drink I have my eatables as well which will keep me full the time is up so let me get started After a quick shower, this is the time I really, 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 really look forward to when I can just sit down on the couch all by myself, raise my legs using a recliner, I close the blinds and I get all that I need for the lunch into my tray and I switch on to my favorite seasons on Netflix. And I believe me, this is the moment I really look forward to during the whole day um, where I can just relax chill and I can hook up to things which I want to and I feel I don't feel guilty about it because I've done so many things uh, during the day I've made myself very occupied in terms of household shows in terms of my work and everything goes according to the time that's when um, I feel I've completed everything and I also feel the need to having spent the time what I wanted to and what I feel the need to and when I get to do that i'm i'm very happy mum and once my girls are back i like to spend the quality time with them asking about the whole day how they have been at school and what they are up to so this is how i like to chalk out my morning routine which is carried on up till to three o'clock anything from the time i wake up to the point where my girls come back from school and the evening section when they come back from school to the point where I go back to sleep. Keeping it very productive, very healthy, fulfilling all my needs, all my desires and also yet keeping it very productive, very healthy and helping me achieve all that I want to. I really hope you liked today's video. Have a lovely afternoon everyone. Bye!